Hello, uh, Jeremy Sizemore here with ASAP Talent Services. Thank you for joining our video blog today. ASAP Talent is one of the top SAP executive search firms in the country. And today I wanna discuss with you five common mistakes that companies and hiring authorities are making late in their interview process. So with that being said today, I want to start right in with number one um, is a slow process. Uh, recruiting firms oftentimes say that time kills all deals, but I want to say that the way it manifests itself in recruiting is after that final interview, you really need to try to get to offer stage within two to three to four business days if you want to land A players. Uh, one to two weeks plus is way too long, so uh, too many things can come into play and kill the deal. Number two, uh, playing the low ball game. Uh, there are companies and hiring authorities out there that are, even though they know where the person currently is and where they need to be, and the recruiting firm told them where the target package is, they just want to tempt fate and they want to come in low. Maybe it's their strategy that they think, well, the person will just counter us anyway and we'll, we'll come in in the middle. Uh, I think it's, it's bad uh, policy to lowball a candidate and if you you're playing with fire when it comes to a players and so we really need to come in with our best and strongest and final offer first um, and make it very clear that this is our best and final offer number three um, too many companies and hiring managers and hr executives are putting all their eggs in one basket um, we need to have three to five strong candidates in play and actually interview and talk to all of them too many times companies have told us to stop the recruiting process and we think we've found our person and um, and the deal falls apart. They take a counter offer, they take a different offer, and then you got to start the whole process over again. And uh, it can it can set you back uh, up to four to six weeks if you don't have strong candidates in play. And the other thing is healthy competition is actually good. It's good to empower a company to make the best decision, but it's good for other candidates to know they're not the only one in play. Okay. Uh, number four is to really know the key numbers at the beginning of the process and to validate and verify those numbers with the candidate throughout the process. So if you're using a search firm, you should know their base salary, their target bonus, what did it pay out last year, what was their W-2, and then where do they need to be? If they're going to make a move, where do they need to be? And then verify and validate that uh, throughout the interview process. Make sure they're telling you as a company the same thing that they're telling the search firm. The last thing is sell the succession plan. Where can someone in this role be three to five years from now? And really sell total package, uh, not just base and bonus, but what are those other things, those extras that make it great to work with our company and things that'll be valuable to you, even though it may not be in the base or the bonus, but other things that are of value in our total package. Hopefully this has been helpful for you to just tidy up the end of your recruiting process and make sure that you land the A players. Thanks so much and have a great day. Thank you.